Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you are all doing well. Last week we looked at the basic grip of the leg spinner. This week we're going to look at the bowling action of a leg spin bowler. Okay, so it's very, very simple. It's nothing new, it's nothing weird. We're going to go back, we're going to start at the beginning, where we're going to go and we're going to focus first on the grip. Again, where I said two fingers putting up, two fingers putting down, put the ball in your hand like this. Don't grip it too tight, but also not too loosely. Okay, that's where we're going to be. So, very, very simple. How we're going to do this is you're simply going to take a stance like this in your crease. Okay, having a good balance, not falling over to the front, not falling over to the side. Have a good balance that you can work from, or a good base you can work from. Then what I wanted to go and do is this front arm goes up nice and high. Okay, it's going to be like a almost like a paddle where this front arm pulls down and this back arm comes through and spins the ball okay why is it important for this front arm to work uh, obviously it's going to help you get through the crease but it's also going to help you to get the ball to drift and turn away from a batsman okay so what i wanted to do for this week is very very simple you take your stance like this get your front arm up like that and i want you to bowl the ball and get through the crease with this wrist sticking through as hard as it can when it comes through. Again, just take your normal stance like this, front arm up, and get through the crease. You go and bowl it with this back arm of yours, flicking the ball out as hard as possible can. 